Christina Ross, and this is the Ross Report. Hi, today we're here with senior running back Tyler Campbell. Tyler, what have you been up to this summer? Uh, this summer, basically just been working out. I was fortunate enough to graduate, um, get into graduate school. I recently got selected to go to the NCAA Leadership Conference that was held in Orlando, Florida, and that was a lot of fun. Can you talk about that leadership conference in Florida and what your experience was and what you learned? Uh, definitely. It was a life-changing experience. Got to interact with other uh, NCAA athletes across the nation from D1 all the way down to D3. Um, picked up some great skills to bring back to the SAC committee and hopefully take SDSU, SDSU to another level. So you mentioned you got accepted in graduate school. Can you talk about your undergrad and what you're going to be studying your master's? Uh, yeah, I got my undergrad in business management. Um, in the master's program, I'll be doing public administration, which is something I'm very proud of. No one in my family has been able to, to get a master's degree, and I look forward to becoming the first one. So it's a great achievement. So what do you want to do with your business management degree and your public administration master's? Um, I've, I've had this dream ever since I was a kid to take over my father's meat company, which he has back home in Texas, called Earl Campbell Sausages. And I just want to take that to the next level. You know, I made, I made that promise, and as a young man, I was told that your word is all you have in remembrance, and that's what people remember you by. So I gave him that promise, and I have to live up to it. Let's talk about your football and where we're going with that. So what can you expect in the 2008 season? A uh, surprise, um, not only for me, but um, from the Aztecs in, in general. We lost a lot of, a lot of guys to the NFL, uh, Kevin O'Connell being one of the big names. Um, a lot of new names on offense, but these are guys who understand the responsibility that weighs on their shoulders as far as stepping in and, and taking care of business. We have a lot of strength on defense with those being our, our number one returning starters. And for me, uh, just the same quiet, hardworking guy who just wants to be dependable in situations on the field. You talk about being quiet and hardworking. I know a lot of guys look up to you and they say at 6 a.m. you're the one who's up there being upbeat and trying to motivate everybody. And What motivates you and how do you motivate other people? Um, it's just the understanding that, that I'm blessed to be able to, to play football at a, at a Division I level. Um, I'm living a dream that a lot of teenagers in high school you know, wish, wish that they could have. And when, it makes it easier to wake up every morning realizing that you're lucky to do the things that you, that you do. And at the same time, this, this might very well be the last time I, I step, feel, step foot on the football field. So um, try not to take anything for granted. And once you realize that, it's, it's easy uh, to be motivated each day. And it's easy to help other guys uh, realize where they are. So you have proven yourself to be a leader on and off the field. What are some of the things you do off the field to help out in the community of San Diego? Um, most recently, I uh, volunteered for the San Diego Chargers at the football camp that they have out there for YMCA and various boy and girl club uh, across San Diego. Um, gives you an opportunity to really interact with kids on an athletic level and, and teach them to pursue their, dream, their dreams. Um, also have a shop with a jock that's held every year um, close to the Christmas time. I've been doing that ever since I, I, I've been here. And probably the, the most fun I have is getting involved with Encanto Elementary over uh, in the Skyline area. Um, being able to interact with uh, the third and fifth graders over there. There's a couple of guys on our football team who do the same thing. Um, these, are, these are kids who often come from broken homes. Um, it makes it easy uh, to look up for them to look up to you because you're in, you're in such a, a great level. Um, you've achieved great things and you just want to instill in them to keep their hopes and values and dreams alive because um, those kids coming from underprivileged homes don't really have you know the father or mother figure to, to teach them that. So that's probably things I look forward to doing the most. Now the team was predicted to finish seventh in the Mountain West. Can you talk about how that makes you feel, if they're right, they're wrong, whatever you think? Um, when you think rankings, I think as an athlete, first off, it's important to, to really not listen to or buy into what the tabloids think. Um, kind of just excited about it because we're under the radar and it's going to make it easier for us to sneak up on a lot of teams in the conference. Uh, people may tend to take us lightly because of the rankings, but um, that's all that is. Um, when it comes down to Saturday, it's the team who's going to perform the best and, and takes advantage of each play. That's who's going to come out on top. It doesn't matter what the rankings are. So um, to me, it doesn't matter, and that's the attitude in our locker room. Thank you, Tyler Campbell, senior running back for the San Diego State football team. This is Christina Ross, and this has been another edition of the Ross Report.